scared. Hello, how are you this morning? I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you that there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week. The company that I'm supposed to read, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. A magical place for kids and Hi Mozart, how are you today? Fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now that might sound mm. bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. Why are you horrible? So what happened? Just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. What? Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcibly pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely be Yikes, I'm sorry to, to hear that. I was trying to figure this game out. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. You gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. I don't know what I need to be doing. Kind of. It's like a horror game, but I'm not for sure what I'm supposed to be doing.
heard something. I know it opens the door, but I'm scared. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? Ew. Doing something wrong. Oh, there's another switch. Oh my god! That scared the crap out of me. Henry, how are you? I'm gonna run out of <laughs> I'm gonna run out of batteries before I figure out what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm scared. Do I need to open the doors? I hear something walking. I'm scared I don't want to open them. <gasps> I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. What? What is that? Yeah! What? No, I don't like the night shift. I don't want to work the night shift anymore. I don't like this job. Where's the phone? Check the door light. 
uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for long periods of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. I don't have everything under control. Frickin... What? Whoa, okay, there's someone in the West Hall. I don't know if I can hit the muffin. Somebody walking. He's gone. He's not here anymore. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh no. Yes, I can see you, Art. I mean, red eye. Sorry, I can see you, red eye. Oh, <gasps> he's moving. I feel sick. <laughs> I feel sick to my stomach. He's not. He's. I'm not gonna make it until 6 a.m. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna run out of power. I know it. not in the dining room anymore. Oh no! Now he's backstage. He moves so fast. I only have 16% health left. <laughs> They're gonna stuff me into an animal. They're gonna stuff me. Uh. They're tapping. No, I'm gonna run out of- I'm running out of power. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. What?
Oh my god. Yeah, it was a jump scare. I jumped a little bit. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, well, if you're hearing this and you made it to day two, uh, congrats. Uh, I, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something, or someone, on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active with the camera and remain off for long periods of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. I have no idea how to play. I did ask for help earlier. I said if anyone knew how to, that I don't know how to play. <laughs> I don't...
There's no way I'm gonna make it till 6 a.m. There's no way. God. You think I should put my webcam on? No! You'll see me screaming and like freaking out. <laughs> I still have bedhead. I might do that tonight. I might play this again tonight and have my webcam on. But I'll be freaking out. The muffin has eyes? Where's the muffin at? Why didn't the phone ring? It's not on stage. Where is he? There's someone in the hallway. The, what muffin are you talking about? If you let me know where the muffin is, I will gladly try it. Uh, clicking the only thing that you can click on that that works is the light button and the door button hmm. And then this button He's rummaging around. What is he doing? Okay, he's back on stage Where 
use the deck. This right here, yeah. You can't click on it. It doesn't do anything. You can't. Mo you can only move side to side, and you can only click these two buttons, and then look at the surveillance cams. naughty. I've never tried it and I wanted to try it. No, Freddy. It's not fun and you're scaring me, Freddy. You're scaring me. I didn't I didn't do anything wrong to you. I'm just working here part time. You know, I, I'm trying to make my way through college. It was either this or stripping. So I chose to work nights at this pizza place. Uh. Oh my god! Freddy, go away! Freddy, just go away. I'm not gonna make it to 6 a.m. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna die again. I'm dead. Yeah, they take a lot more power when they're shut. That's the scary part. I'll try hitting his nose. <coughs> Ew, it makes a scary sound. Why are you being so complaining?
outside that door. Hiya, Georgie. Not supposed to talk to strangers. I'm trying. It looks like a skull. I, I'm clicking on it, but it's not doing anything. I made it through night one and didn't die. Now I thought they make it through night two. Uh. I'm not going to make it till 6 a.m. God!
not in his stage. What do you mean if I'm repeating? Nobody wants you. No hugs. No hugs. Ever.
can't shut the door. I can't shut the door. I can't shut the door. No, 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 no. Why don't I just run? Why do I stay here? No, shut the door. Door, close. I'm dead. The door won't close. Jesus. I need to play something else. My eyes are watering so bad. What should I play now? What do you think? Oh my god. Cameron! No! <laughs> that would have. Oh. I don't even know how I lived through night one. I don't even know. Okay, no. I've tried the heroic on x Remus and I got my butt kicked. Heart. My eyes are just watering like crazy. It's scared me. It's a jump scare. Like, it. Just, man. I'm not. I've never played the. Uh... Okay. I'll play Portal 2. Tropica. I played that. It was fun. Art, I played that yesterday. Okay, let's see. Let me load this up and see how it streams. If it streams, okay. I'm not seeing a windowed mode. It's hard to stream stuff if it's not in window mode. I see. Yes.
Now, I haven't played Portal 2, so I might need advice on what to do. suspension for 15 days in compliance with state and federal regulations all testing candidates in the aperture science extended relaxation center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise you will hear a buzzer When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. You have been in suspension for nine Are you going to open the door at any time? Hello? No? Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Ha! Ah! Oh, God, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. All right, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? 
Probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper, so you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay. grim picture of your chances, but if you simply stand here, we will both surely die. Uh, yes. That's the spirit. Okay. Good luck! Hello, um, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Toilet. That's we are good. currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic. I'm not for sure if I'm supposed to fall through there control. or not. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. What, someone talking shit about me, huh? 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 I'm just kidding. I'm new to this game. Running I've never played Relax. it. Relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Ear tubes inside your head. What? Oh, okay. Let's see. 
sculpture. Picking up what you're putting down. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. I do, I do. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to it. My eyes are still a little watery from that Five Nights at Freddy game, jeez. Hey, hey, you made it! There should be a, a I like portable the bot's device voice. on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go, team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Do I, can I just make a portal anywhere? Interesting. Some old ass computers. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Whoa, that's awesome. Um. Okay, this way? No, not this way. Um. Uh, nope, that's not the way. This way? No, I just came from here. Oh, okay, that's where I've heard it from then.
Okay. Well, I, I figured that out, I think, but I'm not for sure how to get over here. If you feel that a lethal military I didn't know I could shoot it that far. Your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics. Please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. I'm figuring it out. Gotcha. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. This is freaky. <laughs> oh no, I broke the glass. Right.
If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. like mind boggling <laughs> car and mana cubes is water bad See you, mana cubes. Well, how am I supposed to? go Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Okay, noted. Water kills. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you.
But I don't have the mana cube. Oh, okay. Wait, what? If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future testing starts with the future. you. See the mana cube. I have World of Goo. It's a pretty fun game. All right. Thank you, Nadi. I really needed that. <laughs> What's all this butt butt talk? You like butt butts? That didn't...
Don't laugh at me uh, if I'm getting everything super, super wrong. What the heck? Okay, now how do I get up here? Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. OK. 
Okay. <laughs> Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Oh, Pop a portal God. on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going <laughs> on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? What? Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow! I... am not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not right open. While well, your back was turned. Pick me up. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um just follow the rail actually. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Thank you. Getting the hang of it, I think. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever, that's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. Okay, down these stairs. I take it that's from Portal John, 1? This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do, do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note, no braces <laughs> on your spine either, so, so don't land on that. Um, or your head, no braces there. That could, that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely... Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit, we're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah, 
I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, oh, I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, well, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow oh. it down. <laughs> no, right. makes it go faster. <laughs> Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just I'll just hack. Not a problem. Um, hurry. A A A A A. Um. A. Okay. A A A A A C. No. Wait, did I do B? Do you have a pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. Do nothing wrong. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Ah! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences no! behind us. No, not the little For guy. Science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Hi Truman, how are you? Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. Aw, oh, come on lady, it's in the past. You need to move on. Don't live in the past. Portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. She, she sounds like a bitter lover. It's not good.
Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what She's you so did? Passes, I passive I aggressive. Sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm oh happy to put this all behind us and get back to aggressive, work. lady. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Is it not supposed to come up here? I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Yeah, this is my first playthrough. I've never played Portal before. Don't judge me. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers.
Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, is this mana cube busted? Do I need to get a different one? It looks broken. Do I need to get a second cube? I only have one mana cube. Is that what this call it? What is this called? A mana cube? I'm not for sure. Just a cube? Cube companion? I don't know why I keep calling it mana cube. I apologize for that if that's what the name.
Okay. Um. I can't get two of them. to do. Oh no, I can't do that. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. She's she's so horrible bad. Horrible person. She's we weren't even pissed. testing for that. She's so aggressive. No. Oh. Thought I was trapped in there. Hmm. 
Hmm. I only see one refocusing cube. Oh, is it lagging? I was worried that it would uh, not stream well. I hope it's not. Okay, there has to be another refocusing cube somewhere, right? I don't know what this does, <laughs> but I can pick it up. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Jeez, she's just not having it. She's so feisty. One moment. Talk about a bad breakup. Your I think I've had breakups like this before. Than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. More lathers.
I probably should have been over there when I did that. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue what? the testing. Waddle over? <laughs> She's so mean. Only be able to use five portals? Oh my gosh. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Uh... 